Oh, GM. You used to do cool things. It's cold. Or at least as cold as it's going to get here. At least in this part of the state. Deep in the valley, we have a thick uh, layer of smog and weed up there. Oh, it's kind of some clouds there today. Always weed. I can smell it right now. Oh, it's Thursday. It's a high of negative 15 at my house. And this is a 1996 Buick Roadmaster. It's a wagon. This was $27,000 in 1996. That's like $48,000 today. That same money gets you, uh, well, this. This is a Tundra, about the same price. But that's no fun. I drove it here and I'll have no trouble starting. But tomorrow, going to Great Falls. It'll be overnight. It'll be cold. And there will be a video. Back to the Buick. Traded the 81 Mazda for this. The video. It's, uh, look there or something. Let's go look inside. Rear facing seat. Yeah, you can't seat seven in a Mazda. Mazda needed a motor rebuild, and this thing needed a transmission. So $2,800 later, I've got a 4L60E with Corvette servo, upgraded sun gear, Z-Pack uh, clutches. My wife has the remote, which is good. These keys are bulky enough as it is. Ooh, dirty. These things. It's uh, business in the front. And uh, mullet in the back. We got our seat warmer here. Let's see. It does have the memory positions. Is my battery dead? This thing has been sitting for good. Oh, yeah. Dirty garbage. But... Yeah, I just hit memory, that, and it goes back to my position. Does the same thing, memory, that, goes to Sonny's position. So why did it need a new tranny? Look at those miles. Because GM. I'm in it for a new tranny, brakes, exhaust, blower, fuel pump. We're only about 10,000 miles into this thing. Here's a list of repairs that I know about from incomplete records. <laughs> Because GM. She's alive. Automatic heater. Well, the current issue are is a dead ABS computer, intermittent electronics, it's got a leaky rear end, the water pump leaks, again, the AC computer is dead, and there's a slight miss, which is uh, probably related to the uh, water pump issue, which I'll tell you about in a moment here. Oh. Thing has taken a beating this winter. That's a guardrail. Ah, back my trailer into it. We had a blowout. You see the rims are mismatched. I do have a complete set of uh, actual SS rims, but Impala SS Cop Edition, they say. But I'm not putting them on until spring. Another dent here. Huh. It's pretty good in the snow. Rear end is a uh, limited slip, and this thing's practically a lead sled. Look at damn near three tons. I'd prefer an actual limited slip like this has got compared to the electronic whatever BS that, that thing has. But I've got many complaints. More on that later. More on the you know, subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that button for that uh, Tundra video that will be coming. LT1. That's a 350, a fancy 350. Just under 300 horsepower, I think. Mm, probably the same for torque. Who knows? Reverse flowing heads. Coolant goes through the heads first. It's got the OptiSpark distributor down there somewhere. Water pump is off the cam. More sources of contention. OptiSpark is good. It uses opticals and for points, and it's it, it's great if it uh, you have your vacuum lines running right and it stays dry. Stays dry. But this thing V8 has but one function, and it's to be smooth. And this thing 
is like driving a lazy boy. All right, let's hope this thing will start. Battery off there. Value power from 2017, going on four years for this one. This came from our junk Oldsmobile, or not junk, the repaired Oldsmobile. There's a video on that there. But I flipped that car, sold it to somebody, and I didn't have confidence in it. This battery was very flat when I picked it up. And it was starting, but I still didn't quite trust it. So, I mean, $50, $50 for four years out of a battery. Doesn't get a better, no better deal than that. Let me get this camera set up and we'll start this thing.